Alhamdulillahimilashaytanirajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Distinguished guests, dignitaries, our overseas Pakistanis, members of the National Idea Bank, our students, Absabko, Assalamu alaikum. I just need to know who my audience is. So, first I'd like to raise of hands for people that are students here. Kitne students here mujhe hain? Right. What about the overseas Pakistanis? Kitne overseas Pakistanis hain? So we have quite a few. And what about the business community? How many from the business community? Anyone? Okay, this amount. So, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, it's an honor being here amongst you all. And I want to say a lot about the National Idea Bank. It's an excellent initiative. And uh, surprisingly, something I'm not aware of. I was not aware because we have been pursuing this for a very long time with regards to academia and industry linkage. Last year, we did this work. We did this work with the Kamiyab Johan program. We did this work with the Kamiyab Johan program. Minimum, we'll be able to provide you 3,000 jobs. And this is not difficult. We have at least 5,000 members. If you give one student to each organization, that's a bare minimum. We can do. start with the internships. We can easily, easily end up with a long-term uh, job. With regards to today's agenda, I was given a number of different um, themes to work around, you know, with regards to innovation, uh, with regards to the ecosystem, the, the business-friendly environment. There's a lot of things, and they overlap. But in Pakistan, the dynamics are different. We really have to think out of the box when we talk about global concepts. This is business ecosystem. There's fundamentals in which you look at the initial things, sustainability, you look at self-governance, and you look at innovation. Like in Pakistan, mein hamari approach thori over tar again with all the students that are here that are getting jobs and all the businessmen that are here. You know, we have a concept that the boss is always right. So how many of you here have that self-governance aspect? Jo Google mein ya Apple mein dekhte hain ki it's an open platform, Silicon Valley mein where you can sit and come up with all these innovative ideas. And you say, boss, this is the way forward, and the boss is absolutely right. Here we have this a different sort of a norm. We say, no, the boss knows better. So we have to change our approach. And again, jab hum innovation ki baat karte hain. We encourage this all the time. Um, you know, there's two types of innovation which is applicable to Pakistan. Initially, we look at breakthrough, a new idea entirely, and we look at incremental. And I feel that incremental is more suitable for Pakistan, where you take existing developed ideas from the world and re-implement them in Pakistan. Much easier. So you look at existing models like Airlift, for example. That's, uh, you know, what about Uber? And we have many more companies like that opening up in Pakistan now. So it's not a reinvention. Is just taking an existing model, reapplying it based on local dynamics. When we talk about think global, act local. So what does McDonald's do? McDonald's in India does Mac veggie, aloo Mac tikki, and all these different menus that I've never heard of because they're localized based on the Indian demand. If you go to the Middle East, they're different. When you come to Pakistan, they're very different. Pakistan, which our kuch burgers are extremely spicy. This is our ye. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I haven't had a burger for a while. I'm on a strict diet. But it's very, very spicy because I'm pissed on the I'm good Chinese concepts here. I've seen restaurants that have recently opened. P.F. Chang opened. And they've also modified the menu as compared to the foreign markets. So that's what we have to do you know, with regards to our local innovation in Pakistan. With regards to sustainability, come up with those models that can last for 10, 20 years. You know, ideally, any business should be devised on the concept of forming strategic alliances to deliver a quality product for the end user and customers. That is it. It's as simple as that. We unfortunately compromise. We say that we are selling the or substandard quality. We have China with China. With China, you know, we China, you know, we always say that if something is selling, it is inexpensive. It is not substandard. That is not necessarily true. China is doing three grades. A, B and C. It is up to the client. It is up to the customer what he wants. So we have got to be creative. Look, when we talk about Pakistan, I want to give you a, a, a very bright picture of Pakistan. You know, we, I myself, and I'm overseas Pakistani, came to Pakistan a few years ago. My family has been here for, for a long time. I came uh, late. I was in the Middle East. I was in the UK, got my education abroad. Uh, very passionate individual. I came to Pakistan for a reason. Hum jaise log bahir bahut hain. And this is the reason why you're here. There's few of us in Pakistan with that exposure. This is why the government wants to bring more overseas Pakistanis back home because what they've seen in the world we Pakistan to bring We are not behind this we are not like, we are incompetent. We are behind this because we don't have the technology. We don't have the know-how. If we look literacy in Pakistan, we are looking at about 56%. It's a joke. And if you look at AJK, this is interesting. If you look at North AJK, AJK ki literacy is around 67, 68%. And these are areas which don't have proper schools. And then we talk about women economic empowerment. 55%. Of the population is females, and we're working on it now. You have, uh, you know, a Pakistan history. I think probably in the region, the only serving lieutenant general who's a female, the lieutenant general of uh, the medical corps. It's huge. And then you can look, look at uh, Benzi Bhutto. In all of these these examples are examples which have been leading Pakistan forward. We are not different. 
opportunity nahi mile hame now we're coming to that with regards to the overseas pakistanis that are here jo jo mohabbat hai aap logon ki pakistan ke liye jo patriotism hai wo visible hai this is why you've taken this initiative you've already taken a lot of the institutes on board we have worked with many of them nast ke sath humne kaam kiya last year comsats ke sath kaam kiya nast had a wonderful program uh, islamic university as well ek bacche ne ek spare part bana diya extra machine ka wo jo extra extra machine ka jo part tha uski 8 lakh ki cost thi usne wahi 1.5 lakh 2 lakh mein bana diya similarly comsats mein there was a, a student who came up with the, this device which shakes chemicals in a test tube so you need it for a few hours to see the the end result to wo again 1.5 2 lakh ki cost thi usne 70000 rupaye ka prototype bana diya pakistan mein what we don't realize agar hum apni cost of labor dekh le we are far more inexpensive i wouldn't say cheap we're inexpensive as compared to bangladesh sri lanka and india uska benefit nahi le pa rahe uski reason ye hai ki we're not promoting pakistan hum market nahi kar rahe hame pata hai pakistan ki capability kya hai baakiyon ko nahi pata i went to um, gujranwala day before yesterday and wahan pe master tile ka humne plant visit kiya we're looking at some ceramics and mai khwahish thi ki hum pakistan se buy kare i promise you they're delivering at par with spain and italy इस लेवल की सरामिक्स वो बना रहे हैं यहाँ पे 300 एकड़ की उनकी फैसिलिटी है वहाँ पे देवगढ़ मल्टीपल प्लांट सर अपना और उसके फोर इन बाद हम भलवाल गए वहाँ पे नया एक प्लांट लगाया चाइना का ओरियाल नाउ दिस इज गुड एंड बैड फॉर पाकिस्तान गुड कि वी आर गेटिंग फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट बैड बिकॉज सी को हम प्रमोट तो करते हैं लेकिन वी डोट वॉन्ट फॉरन इंडस्ट्रीज टू कम एंड कम्पीट विद आवर्स हम तो अभी उस तरफ आए नहीं हैं वी हैवन इवन मूव टूवर्ड्स दैट सो वी ऑलरेडी हैविंग फॉरन कंपेरिज कम एंड द रीजन फॉर दैट इज चाइना के ऊपर टैफ्स लग चुके हैं ट्रेड वॉर what you have started and this is just a start kal tariffs uk bhi laga lega europe bhi laga lenge so unhone pakistan ke through route karna hai now the edge that we have ke wo pakistan mein plant laga rahe hain uske benefit lene ka tarika ye hai ke the government is to say to them what the middle east used to say 51% ownership pakistanis ki hogi and 99% ya 95% labor aapko pakistan ka hoga chinese itne efficient hain wo jin hai we develop centaurs and centaurs mein jab construction ho rahi thi Now, uh, almost 60% workforce was from China, but guess who these Chinese laborers were? They were all prisoners. So, who are their prisoners? Could be idle, not short. They. That's how efficient they are. This is why China has come up faster than any other country. For example, like, you know, it's not the population size; it's how fast they've developed and how efficiently they've developed the country. So, we need to move. So, as as a country, what's sad about Pakistan is we are not focusing on our core competence, on our core, which is industry. Jayu Khan Sahab's time, there was an initiative in India. आप अगर यहाँ पे प्लांट्स देख लें पुराने जो एच एम सी के हैं एच आई टी के हैं देर ह्यूज प्लांट्स द केपेबिलिटी इज फिनल बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी नॉट कंटिन्यू दैट हम डिवे लोग बीच में वापस नहीं चढ़ पाए अब हम वापस आ रहे हैं इंडस्ट्री की तरफ वन आई स्पोक टू ऑल दिस इंडस्ट्रीज आई सेट वट इज द इंसेंटिव यू गेटिंग फ्रॉम द गवर्मेंट एंड दिस सेट दैट यू नो वट इफ वी गेट प्लांट एंड मशीनरी हमें सिर्फ फाइव परसेंट ड्यूटी चार्ज की जाती है अगर हम फाइनेंसिंग लें थ्री परसेंट चार्ज किया जाता है एंड वी थैंक पी टी आई फॉर दैट तो वो फ्री हैंड दे रहे हैं कि आप ट्रांसफर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी लेके आएँ मैं एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ कि वीर लुकिंग एट डोर्स फॉर आर अपकमिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड हमें कंपनीज बहुत कम मिल रही थी यहाँ पर जो उस लेवल की डोर्स प्रोड्यूस कर सकें हज़ार दो हज़ार डोर्स मुझे दे सकें विद इन थ्री फोर मंथ्स हार्डली एक या दो कंपनीज हैं मैंने स्ट्रामिक्स की बात की अभी भी पाकिस्तान के अंदर छः से सात स्ट्रामिक कंपनीज भी आप लगा दें फिर भी यहाँ की रिक्वायरमेंट पूरी नहीं होती यू नो विद रिगार्ड्स टू आर रिक्वायरमेंट वी डिड द लार्जेस्ट इंडस्ट्रियल एंड प्रॉपर्टी हाउसिंग एक्सपो एंड कलाब्रेशन विद नैप डनिया पाकिस्तान एंड अगेन ग्रेट इनिशियटिव एक आम इंसान एक आम शहर ये घर ले सकता है दे आर गिविंग फाइनेंसिंग विदाउट इवन आसिंग फॉर क्लेटरल आपकी सैलरी के अगेंस्ट आपको लोन दे देंगे दिस इज दिस इज इनिशियटिव विद रिगार्ड्स टू द पोटेंशियल हमने तकरीबन जो इस्लामाबाद में प्रोजेक्ट किए थे दो सौ पचास अरब के प्रोजेक्ट इस रीजन में आ रहे हैं दस लाख घर हमने लिख के दिए गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान को कि दस लाख घर इस रीजन में आ रहे हैं तो जो खान साहब का ख्वाब है पचास लाख घरों का वो तो मैं समझ रहा हूँ कि अंडर एस्टिमेट है द एक्चुअल रिक्वायरमेंट एज पर टेज पॉपुलेशन साइज इज ट्वेल्व मिलियन हाउसेज तो अगले दस साल तक कॉन्सेंट डिमांड है सरामिक्स की मैंने एग्जाम्पल दी कि अगर छः प्लांट भी हम नहीं लगाते हैं फिर भी आपकी सिर्फ लोकल डिमांड पूरी नहीं होगी हम अगर दस लाख घर की बात करें पर ईयर दैट मीन्स दो हज़ार आठ सौ घर पर डे नहीं बन सकते वी डोंट हैव द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स वी डोंट हैव द फाइनेंशियल फाइनेंस वी डोंट हैव द इक्विपमेंट वी डोंट हैव नाइन्टी परसेंट रॉ मटेरियल तो हम इम्पोर्ट कर रहे हैं इंक्लूडिंग द अदर दिस इज वाई वी हैव अ करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट दिस वाई इज अ ट्री डेफिसिट यू वी नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग एनी थिंग लोकली विच इज़ आर कोर स्ट्रेंथ हम अगर पाकिस्तान को आगे लेके जाना चाहते हैं वी नीड टू मूव टूवर्ड्स इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इन एवरी सेक्टर वी टॉक अबाउट आईटी, वी यू इनाग्रेट इन आईटी पार्क इन आई नाइन लास्ट ईयर एंड वीव गॉट टू मेन वंस जो मोस्टली सर्विसेज ओवरसीज कंपनीज को दे रही हैं अमेजोन को दे रही हैं दे आर गिविंग टू हॉस्पिटल जॉन हॉपकिस को बैकअप सपोर्ट यहाँ से उनकी क्लाइंट डाटा यहाँ मैनेज किया जा रहा है विच इज सरप्राइजिंग
So we took these ambassadors and they were blown away. Okay, these companies are already providing services to the US and to Europe. Like, how many? Even Pakistan no most looking at So we don't even know how much potential we have within Pakistan itself. We have overseas ja ke businessmen, hai, overseas architects, and we have all the capabilities locally. So it's about connectivity, and that's where we come in as a business community. You know, we uh, meet with these uh, ambassadors quite frequently. We want to use these business ideas, these R&D centers in Pakistan. Because we are inexpensive. If we say that you are going to Dubai, I mean, I can give you an example. If I hire an architect in Dubai, I will charge him about $15,000 to $16,000 to a good project. Here, he will charge the architect for $2,000 to $3,000. So it's, it's no rocket science. This is the capability. These people have the curriculum. They have the know-how. The difference is maybe those guys have done more projects. But if we don't give our market, we don't give our people the chance, we don't give our youth the chance, how are we going to move forward? Um, I would also like to, on this forum, again, acknowledge uh, you know, the BTI government. I think Khan Saab, I've worked with him for the last year, and he's a true uh, patriot, somebody who's very sincere with this country. He has a lot of passion, a lot of charisma. When you listen to him, when you interact with him, you'll see his arteries and veins uh, popping out because you know he's, re- he's really passionate about, about the country, about the people. Like, I'm in Sanga, that's what I'm so And COVID is an ideal example. Uh, you know, something we went through, we weren't prepared for, but it was handled really well as an example. And when Khan Saab said that we are 4% GDP growth, so most people said 4% GDP growth in Pakistan, really? There are two aspects. Hai. So when we recently just had the uh, numbers come in from the Pakistan stock market, we looked at an aggregate profit of about 258 billion. That's a lot of money. It was about 60% over the last uh, you know, uh, correlating year. It's a lot of growth. And most of that was contributed to 5% growth in real estate, telcos, banks, because banks are doing really well. And we obviously have you know, uh, automobile sector. We have a few other sectors. IT is there as well. IT, we have about 900 million dollars export. Finally. We're coming up towards about, towards about 3 billion. If we look at the country, they're well over 100 billion. So imagine how much potential in this sector. Mein. And it's again not about them being smarter than us. It's about them being more aggressive in their marketing. We need to market Pakistan. So we talk about Pakistan's GDP growth. But the most important thing is issue of Pakistan. That we're not a documented economy. When we talk about contribution, we have 3-4% of people in this country. So how are we going to progress forward? And we blame the government. Ko. The government is bleeding as it is. 200 plus state-owned enterprises that we have are losing money. Government ka kaam kabhi bhi nahi hota ki companies ko chalayin. That is why you know, railways is trying to privatize. PIA ko eventually privatize. Karna and there's other institutions as well. Because a businessman saves every penny. My own philosophy in business is every penny saved is a penny earned. And everything I save, I reinvest in my organization. I reinvest in my own people. This is, this is your core strength, your human resource. So we need to encourage everybody. Government policy investment economy business community which is what we're doing. And we're doing it very well and we're going to do it even better if given the right opportunity, if given the right policy. So it's just a matter of taking us on board. You know, we've always lobbied that you businessmen who are in Karachi, Sialkot, Faisalabad, Lahore, uh, you know, the main areas of your area, you make a collective economic cell bana de, of representatives that can come and give you feedback. You know, people like us don't need portfolios. We're not longing for portfolios because we already have enough respect within our own community. And we're not about, you know, show of power or show of, uh, of, of anything else. It's, it's not, we don't have time for these sort of things. We want the country to progress. It's the reason that if the country will progress, then we will progress. If our stake is put in this country, then it will not be put in 3-4 years. If we take investment, then it will be put in 20-30 years. Forecast ke lete and the fundamental thing is the payback. Again, one more initiative we took last year, which is something you need to focus on, the, the youth. Tourism. Last year, we negotiated with the Prime Minister and we took Zulfi Bukhari Sahib on board. We said, what tourism is saying? But it's not viability nahi hai because of the duties. So we convinced the government to waive off the duties by 50% on all tourism projects. So now, if you bring in a chairlift or if you bring in, uh, you know, a Formula One circuit, you will be able to get 50% duties waived off. And that's a huge incentive. This is what we're moving towards. We are working on long-term sustainable economic development. I want to mention one thing youth. My own thesis was on this. Uh, the strategic importance of emotional intelligence. This is again linked with the ecosystem of any business. Whether you talk about Pakistan or globally. But it's more applicable in Pakistan. You know, emotional intelligence, we have some core things. This is again related with business intelligence. If we emotional intelligence, ki baat kare, to firstly, it's about self-awareness. Understanding your own feelings, self-governance, how you govern those feelings, regulation, how you regulate those feelings, empathy, how you're empathetic towards others, how you motivate others, and your social skills. 
ये एक बहुत बेसिक चीज़ है मैं इसलिए बताता हूँ क्योंकि जब मैंने अपने इंडियंस की बात करता हूँ बांग्लादेशीज़ की बात करता हूँ तो एज अ कम्यूनिटी उनमें इतिहाद बहुत स्ट्रॉग है हम बिजनेस कम्यूनिटी में और यूथ को ये सिखाते हैं कि गेट रेड ऑफ दिस मी माई सेल्फ एंड आई ओवेज से वी आस इस ओवेज अ टीम कलेब्रेशन अगर टीम कलेब्रेशन नहीं भी है डोंट ट्राई टेक द क्रेडिट फॉर इट आई प्रोमिस यू जो कलेक्टिव ग्रोथ में स्ट्रेंथ है और जो मज़ा है वो किसी और चीज़ में नहीं है यू कैन ओनली ग्रो टुगेदर ये एक चीज़ मैं और बताऊँ अपॉर्चुनिटी की बात करते हैं फ्रेंड माइन मैंशन के वी मिस द ट्रेन आई प्रोमिस यू नॉट मिस एनी थिंग मैंने दो हज़ार छः में एक बिजनेसमैन से बात की थी कि यार दुबई में हमने इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं की वी मिस आउट ही सर ब्रो आई बिन डूइंग बिजनेस फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स डोट एवरी थिंग दैट मैंने कहा क्यों कहते हैं दिस ओवेज समथिंग बेटर दिस ओवेज समथिंग नेक्स्ट इस्लाम ये कहता है कि कुछ बेहतर आपके नसीब में होगा इसमें कुछ बेहतरी है ओवेज थिंक दैट दिस ओवेज समथिंग बेटर डोट एवर सी कोई ऑप्शन लॉस हो गया मुझे करना चाहिए था दिस शुड भी नो एग्रेस इन द बिजनेस मैन माइंड इज ओवेज समथिंग नेक्स्ट एंड पाकिस्तान की खूबसूरती है द वे आई मूव दिस अ लॉट ऑफ चैलेंजेस हेयर आर डायनामिक्स वेरी डिफरेंट बट कंसिडर एवरी ऑब्सिकल एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट इज अ डिफरेंस इफ यू गन बी इन अवेयर You need to come up with needs, uh, solutions based on your needs. And Pakistan has needs and needs. Take waste management for example. Nobody talks about waste management. There is not a single proper waste management company across Pakistan. Kachra hi kachra hai yahan pe. And imagine how many byproducts can be generated from waste. Nobody's working on that. That's another idea for you. Another million dollar, a billion dollar idea for you. With regards to the innovators, I appreciate what you've done. Um, I would like to recommend that you, who businessmen are, share with them. On board, line. I'm sure you already have. The reason I say this is there's two uh, concepts in the world. You've seen the Shark's Tank and Dragon's Den, where a group of a panel of what five six investors sits, and they they give you money based on whatever your your idea is, and if it can be commercialized, if it's commercially viable or not. I propose the same thing. We can take five six tycoons from Islamabad. I can propose five six from Pindi. I can propose another five six because the business community is one. We're one family. We know everybody. We can propose these people to you because there's no incentive. Hamai liye hai, ki will become your partners. हम चाहे फाइव परसेंट शेयर लें टेन परसेंट लें ट्वेंटी परसेंट लें विल बिकम स्टेक होल्डर्स इन योर बिजनेस वी कैन ऑल्सो हेल्प यू मूव फॉरवर्ड डीलिंग विद पाकिस्तान ब्योक्रेसी इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इट्स नॉट अबाउट द द आइडिया द आइडिया इज ग्रेट बट हाउ यू गोइंग टू एक्सिक्यूट इम्प्लीमेंट दट आइडिया एंड ओवरकम द ब्योक्रेसी दैट्स वी कम एन बिकॉज वी बिन हेयर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम वी नो हाउ टू पुल स्ट्रिंग्स वी नो हाउ टू मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड वी नो हाउ टू बाई पास सम पीपल एन टू बाई पास दैट इज द वे यू कैन प्रोग्रेस फॉरवर्ड एंड दैट इज द वे यू कैन मूव एंड एक्सेल मच फैस ऑल्सो मूव टूवर्ड्स एक्सपोर्ट पाकिस्तान की जो कलेक्टिव एक्सपोर्ट की हम बात करें दैट्स वाई टॉक अबाउट इंडस्ट्री उनतीस बिलियन की हम बात करें ट्वेंटी फोर बिलियन सॉरी ट्वेंटी फोर बिलियन इज अ जोक फॉर पाकिस्तान अगर आप हम सारे मुल्क को देख लें बांग्लादेश को तो फोर्टी नाइन बिलियन वो एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है अच्छा बांग्लादेश का लगभग पता है कितना है एक लाख चालीस हज़ार स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर हम लोग पता है कितने आठ लाख अस्सी हज़ार आठ लाख अस्सी हज़ार स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर एंड लाइक यू सर द मैडम सर विद द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड मैंगो We've got the fifth largest production of mangoes in the world, and these persons die out of that because there's not an adequate cold storage, not adequate marketing. Have you seen uh, mangoes in Sainsbury's? Pakistani mangoes in Sainsbury's. Have you seen them on Red Rose? These are prime markets. Tesco's. These are prime markets in the UK. Walmart. हमे अपने mangoes South Hall की high streets के ऊपर नजर आते हैं floor पे. Twelve pounds for a crate. How insulting is that? These are the sweetest and nicest mangoes in the world. क्योंकि हमने दुनिया देखी हुई है और हम चाहते हैं कि हम उन जगहों पे आए वे वी डिजर्व टू बी वी डिजर्व टू बी वे द टॉप एशियन टाइगर्स लेकिन हम अनफॉर्चुनेटली वो उस परसेप्शन को नहीं बिल कर पाए अभी भी जब हम मिडल ईस्ट जाते हैं तो वो कहते हैं हाजको मिसकिन तो मैं उनको कहता हूँ यार आप आके देखें जैसे कि मिसकिन हमें यहाँ पे ये परसेप्शन एक्चुअली जो हमें चेंज करना है उनका सो वी नीड टू लुक वी आर ह्यूज कंट्री वी हैव अूज फ्यूचर अ वेरी ब्राइट फ्यूचर वी नीड टू बी प्राउड ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड दैट इज अप टू यू गाइज द फ्यूचर ऑफ पाकिस्तान इज इन योर हैंड्स टू लीव पाकिस्तान फॉरवर्ड मैं पूरा दिन आपके साथ बात कर सकता हूँ आई हैव अंडरस्टूड एंड स्टडीड ऑल ऑफ दीज सेक्टर्स जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी की बात कर लेते हैं फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट रिजर्व इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मिनरल्स आर इन पाकिस्तान अनएक्सप्लोर्ड लेडीज वे आर गोइंग टू बी डूइंग जेम्स एग्जीबिशन इन शाला इन द कमिंग वीक्स हम सेंटोर्स में प्लान कर रहे हैं एंड वी डू ऑल दीज थिंग्स फ्री ऑफ चार्ज हमने आई टी का भी किया था एग्रीकल्चर का भी किया था अगर हम इसमें एक चीज़ और एड कर दें वैल्यू एडिशन जो सर्टिफिकेशन है आई जी आई जी आई एच आर डी तीस बिलियन डॉलर्स की खाली मिनरल्स और जेम्स ज्वेलरी की एक्सपोर्ट हो सकती है पाकिस्तान से सो सो गोल्ड माइन जस्ट रियलाइज वट इट इज़ जस्ट रियलाइज वट दिस इज इन मूव फॉर्ड सो मेरे साथ मिलकर अहद करें आप सब और बाकी को भी ये कहें कि वो भी अहद करें कि हम सब मिलकर इस बेहतरीन मुल्क को और भी बेहतर बनाएंगे सब साथ पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद